Hello, welcome to the part 7 of this video series. This playlist is dedicated to AWS Certified Developer Associate Real Exam Questions. It's all real. Subscribe to this channel and please, please, please hit the like button. If you want contents on other certifications, please drop in your comments. For previous questions, please refer parts 1 to 7 of this playlist. Let's jump into the questions. Let's jump, jump. See, the story goes this way. There is an application being developed by the business. For this application, there would be users accessing it. They want to change their passwords on their own. How can they do that? What options will suffice? Now, if you look at the options, they, you will see there is a commonality. Identity pools and user pools. What are these? So identity pools, it provides you temporary AWS credentials. And it does it for guests as well as for users who have been authenticated and they already received a token. It's like somebody invited you to a birthday party and now there will be some guests and there will be some family members. So the family members are users who are already authenticated and they have a token like they are relatives of the birthday boy or the birthday girl. But guests, they are unauthenticated. They are not relatives, but still they can, you know, get temporary AWS credentials. The user pool Cognito service, it maintains a user pool. It has all the users. So what is special is, suppose you know you have an Apple ID and you want to use that to access this application, Cognito will allow you. And if you have a Google account, you can use that as well. Now we know the difference between identity pools and user pools. So let's scan through the options. A is wrong because it makes use of STS, which provides temporary access. So this is how you can get temporary limited privilege access and credentials. Now you may ask why is STS wrong here? Does the question say that you need temporary access? No, it says just I have my users just allow them to change their own passwords. Now B is probably wrong for me because you know what Cognito and IAM uh, does the same thing. It's similar. So why will I use two services which are same in nature? So that's why I will strike this out. Now C is wrong as well. You know why? Because it's making use of, first of all, KMS. Man, why do we use KMS, you know? If you have an encryption decryption requirement, here, do you have that? This question, do you see the word encryption anywhere? No. Then why the hell I would use KMS? KMS stores keys for encryption. See, the beauty is it leaves us with just one option and this has to be the answer. We will utilize both user pools as well as identity pools. That way, you know what? That way, if people are using coming in from the user pool, they might use their Facebook IDs and credentials they might use their Apple IDs and credentials and they can change that password and it will still work. It will allow them to do that. And they can also use identity pools, which will allow, you know, access for, for its users as well as guests. We will lock this answer let's look at this one it's a very boring question 
whenever I see I have to choose two answers I am bored see you are in box A okay the gold is in box B here what is the gold PII what is PII what is PII man it is personally identifiable information just like your social security number if you happen to be in the US it can be your Aadhaar number basically it is gold because it is precious it has to be kept safely so looking at this question it is the other way around you are in this box and the gold is in A okay so what A did is it created an IM role called access PI so access PI is the key and with credentials to PI database and added account B as a trusted entity so A is telling you okay only B can come in here so it has done whatever is required to ensure people in the house B can come and see the gold here other people cannot see so for that what has happened A has given that access suppose there are three guys staying in box B all three guys will have some ID cards using which A will approve it now you are saying apart from that ID card whatever what extra step has to be taken by the developers in order to have access to the table because inside A there is gold gold is in DynamoDB database and what is called PII so option A tells us so what it is saying is in B there is EC2 instance okay suppose EC2 is a person it is telling give that person whatever access A is given the ID card so give that ID card to this person and this person can get in he can rob the gold he can mess around the entire box A and he can see the gold mess up the gold take the gold throw the gold whatever that means they have all access bloody dangerous this guy will screw up this gold stuff now B if you see B and I have already marked these answers B is an, the answer because apart from what A is doing it will also do predefined service control <coughs> okay that means if you say boss this person from box B can come and see the gold in box A that's all he cannot take the gold he cannot open the locker he cannot touch the gold that is what so we want to predefine that service control now D is also correct because it says you have to add assume role in the application code logic to obtain credentials to access PI data because ultimately you will be writing a code to access this so this has to be done through a credential let's look at the next one I have still marked it question 33 there is a typo but let's proceed this is actually 34 see you have to deploy a serverless application so what is serverless something like lambda or Aurora you have to deploy it and you are making use of code deploy to do it what does code deploy do it will automate code deployments now what has happened no you have upgraded the application and you want to redeploy this and the question asks like what file will you change to enable code deploy to submit the change again because there's a change because the code change right you have to submit the change again out of this what will you use let's go with docker first see docker run is a elastic beanstalk stuff okay it is not a code deploy file okay we uh, we want code deploy file so this is wrong let's look at build spec if you are building your uh, specification of the application for the first time you should use build spec as build spec is a collection 
of build commands and we are not building this for the first time so build spec is wrong but app spec app spec is used to manage deployments as a series of lifecycle event hooks so you can create hooks which are basically sections for deployments like whatever changes you have put you can link it to a hook hence this is my potential answer but also let's look at d eb extension is used with elastic beanstalk since this question is specific to code deploy okay they are asking what you should edit in code deploy eb extensions is not a code deploy uh, file so this is my final answer so the story goes this way you are trying to put an application on aws okay and earlier the application was on premises and application itself was handling the client ip addresses but you know the moment application went on site on on cloud so this is the cloud it went on cloud so the users here who are accessing the applications a lot of users okay when they access this application no, their client ip addresses they look identical uh, now we want a solution which is cost effective to solve this the first one says remove the application from alv so here you know we see there is a load balancer the application is behind a load balancer so this is the application and this is the load balancer alv always remember uh, uh, the application is usually on multiple ec2 instances and that's why load balancing is there if the request comes and if this guy alb thinks okay i should send a request here because this guy is less occupied so alb is like your team lead okay and these ec2 instances on which application is hosted are your developers so the team lead decides who is relatively free whom should i assign the tasks and so on so first if it's saying you remove the team lead itself okay that's cross that is cross okay and uh, first they're saying that you tell the developers that this guy is not your team lead that means remove the application from alp this guy is no longer the team lead then you remove the team lead this is also gross and then they are saying you route all the traffic to the instance running the application so there can be multiple instances running the application they are saying just route it say only to this guy that means it is saying that you take this all out because now the team lead has gone directly routed here so what will this guy do here this guy will be sitting idle so that means all work will come to only one developer and this guy will get mad now you might still say boss it it works no this guy will do the work he will work 15 16 hours beyond its capacity but see here it's saying application must retain its horizontal scalability that means if more work comes it should spawn more instances give the work to other instances if more work comes give the work to other developers also so a is wrong in this regard a will not give that work now b says the same gross stuff you remove the association with the developers and team lead so remove this this is wrong then it is saying you uh, create you bring a new team lead earlier you had alb now you bring clb in its place okay and direct the traffic to the application using http protocol so here see my thing is this is not cost effective b is not cost effective we want the most cost effective here what is happening is you are only removing the association with the team lead you are not removing the team lead first of all so now you have alb and clb both so your cost goes up so this reason is good enough to mark this wrong now c says do this x forwarded for header what's that c x forwarded no it will help you identify the ip address of a client that is what we want right now since the ip addresses are similar so you are not able to identify but using x forwarded for you can identify 
so we got our answer here this looks correct but let's look at D it says to inspect the header and alter the client code to pass IP address in the custom error but then the problem is not solved right because I mean the IP addresses are here identical so even I if I add this in the custom header here how will it help because still I'm not able to identify it correctly so this is wrong please subscribe to my channel it takes a lot of hard work to put in these contents hit the like button please that motivates me to prepare more content around these questions this brings us to the end of this part in this playlist we will see you in the next part but before that let's summarize the questions that we covered in this part we covered this 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 and this one see you in the next part